Okay, hello. Um, this was not the video that I wanted to post after not posting on YouTube for a hot second, but it's extraordinarily important. The moral of this tragedy is really important. It's super, there's a lesson to be learned and I hope that anybody that doesn't have birds but wants to get birds or you know doesn't know a lot about bird diet I just hope that they take what I'm about to say and they really they let it resonate and sink in um hello my name's Amy welcome back to my abandoned YouTube channel let's get right into it um First and foremost, I guess, before we get, get into it, I just wanted to again say thank you so much. If you are here from TikTok, thank you so much. I appreciate all the love and the outpourings of condolences, and please don't think that it's going ignored or disregarded. I just wanted to really just say thank you, and it's got me through these last couple days, and thank you so much. Um, I have a 20 minute drive home, so I just figured I would prop my phone up and uh, stare off into the abyss and <laughs> focus and just kind of explain in detail the story because like I said prior and even on TikTok, there is such an important lesson to be learned here. Um, so a little bit about Captain, my macaw that passed. Um, I got him from a rescue. All my birds, except one, except two, are from rescue, um, the same rescue. Um, Bernie, Lena Jo, Captain, and my newest Hans Macaw Paco, all four are from the same rescue. Um, Harley is from Craigslist, so he's still a rescue per se. Nonetheless, not the moral, but I wanted two more rescue birds than get baby birds. Um, I wanted to make a difference in the lives of birds that already had a lot of life behind them and just give them a loving forever home with love and kisses and spoils and everything that they absolutely need. So. Anyway, I got Captain. Um, I always wanted a macaw. Never thought I would ever get one. Um, can't find them where I'm from. And I was so lucky to get the opportunity to rescue Captain. Um, the first words out of the rescue lady's mouth was, he is about 21 years old and he ate people food for the first 20 years of his life. Um, he ate everything and anything that the human ate. There was no, no holes barred, basically, of what they didn't let him eat. Whatever they were eating that day, whether it's a cheeseburger to chicken to lasagna to spaghetti to cookies, cupcakes, cracker, whatever. The, that's what his diet was. Um, Captain was very skinny when I first got him. Um, very scary skinny. Um, and I took one look at that bird and not knowing too terribly much about the health and well-being of birds that way, I could tell he was way too skinny. So my, I, I wholeheartedly believed her with the vitamin A deficiency. Um, Three days after I got him, I took him to the vet, maybe four days, um, got him a wellness exam because I wanted to do everything right by this bird. The vet even said, this bird is incredibly skinny, needs some weight on him, needs some proper diet, and ever since I got him, I got Captain in November. So from November till this month, July, um, that was my goal to fatten him up, beef him up, give him bird food, give him good high quality pellets, give him 
fruits and veggies in high vitamin A content. That was my goal, was to fatten him up and make him healthier. Um, and I and I accomplished that. I, I gave, got him some weight on him, and he looked good. He looked healthy. He appeared healthy. Um, my bird was fine up until he wasn't. Um, he got super weak one day, super, the other day, super weak. Got really quiet. I'm like, this is not my bird, something's wrong. So I took him to the emergency vet and they said, well, his lungs look okay, stomach appears all right, you know. But yeah, he is really weak. Um, they gave him some IV fluids, some anti-inflammatories, and sent us on our way and said he probably just ate something that didn't agree with him. Well, he just got weaker and weaker. Um, the TikTok videos that are on my TikTok, that was right before I took him to the emergency vet the second time. Um, the first time, she just said give it like 24 to 36 hours, and I'm like, yeah, 24 hours later, and I'm like, there's no 36 hours about it. Like, this isn't my bird. He's he's increasingly getting weaker. Um, so I brought him back to the emergency vet, and that's when it was found that his heart was so bad, so enlarged, there was just way too much damage. Um, 20 years of improper diet, and he just didn't recover from that amount of damage for that long. Even though, you know, from November till now isn't an extra extraordinarily long amount of time, um, I thought I did good for him. He was on a better diet. He was eating. He was healthy. He was fine. But there was no fixing 20 years of damage. His heart was just bad. So there's that. Um, that is the quickish rundown of the start to finish of it. Um, he lost, he couldn't move his right leg. He was so weak, basically like he was paralyzed um, because he was so weak. His whole, half of his body basically started shutting down. Um, and that's where the, the TikTok videos are from was that was the beginning of the end. He, he couldn't step up. He couldn't walk. He tried so hard. He was such a fighter. He tried so hard. Um, he was my very best friend. He, he wanted me so bad. He, he was going to try. He was a fighter. But when you have that much damage, there's just no coming back from that. So the teaching moment, the learning moment is please, everybody, you know, if you want a bird, I would never derail somebody from wanting a bird. They are the smartest, sweetest, hands down the best pet. Um, birds bring so much joy and happiness and light, but you've got to do it right. You've got to do it right. You know, birds, their bodies are so fragile. You, you just, you've got to get high quality pellets, fruits, veggies, healthy snacks. You, you've got to do right by them. You know, you can't just get a bird, throw it in an itty bitty cage, give it crappy cheap, seedy food, and think that that bird's going to live a long time. It's just not going to happen. Um, so that's that. Please do right by your birds, and that's all I ask. And I'm going to make it my mission to educate the best I can about proper bird diet, and I'm going to do the best I can to help birds. Um, I have a one to two year plan that I always wanted to open up my own bird rescue, and I'm going to name it after Captain, and, and that is going to be my be all end all goal is you're going to see on here and you're going to see on TikTok like one day you're going to see the makings of it when I finally start it 
and get going. And you're going to go on the journey with me of opening my own bird rescue so I can make a difference in the lives of birds. Um, and that's that. That's, that's that. Um, again, thank you so much for all the love and the care and the condolences and give your birds extra hugs and extra snuggles and just really, really watch their diet. And if you see your bird acting different, please just have a, a vet fund, get them in, get them checked out. It could be something simple, but what if it's not, you know, I never envisioned that I wouldn't be taking Captain home with me that night. So now the healing begins and there's a lesson to be learned and it's just been a rough couple days. So but I just wanted to get on, make a quick video while I had the time and share how grateful I am for all the loving well wishes. And now we heal and we move on and we, we learn something. Um, and we just continue to help the birds and love the birds that I have. And I still have five other birds that need me and I'm just gonna continue to do right by them. And, and that's that. Thanks so much everybody. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be posting more content here. Um, and thank you so much for following my journey with my birds and it's been an incredibly fun time. So thank you, I love you. And I hope to talk soon and like and follow and subscribe on my socials. It really means a lot to me. I have a lot, generally have a, a, a lot of fun doing this. So. Thank you so much and look forward to more content and I'm going to try to keep it as lighthearted as I possibly can because that's where the fun comes in. So anyway, that's all and I love you. Bye.